Well, Robbie Bolo has been at fall camp every day, and he is ready with five bold predictions for the season ahead. We are just five days away from the season opener at Ole Miss. In this BYU's first year competing as a football independent, here are five bold predictions for the 2011 season. Number five, three tight ends will catch a touchdown pass in 2011. In 2010, a grand total of zero tight ends caught touchdowns, which is absolutely unheard of at BYU. In fact, last year snapped a string of five consecutive first-team all-conference tight ends for the Cougars. Austin Holt has already guaranteed a tight end will catch a touchdown at Ole Miss on Saturday. Number four, BYU will return a kickoff for a touchdown. It hasn't happened since Mike Regel's 96-yard return at Hawaii in 1998. McKay Jacobson and Cody Hoffman are veteran kick returners, but Jordan Johnson and Mike Haig are the front runners for the job this season. It's certainly not because McKay and Cody are suddenly incapable, but because Jordan and Mike are that good. Johnson was the kick returner on the scout team while he redshirted a year ago. Number three, Justin Sorensen will kick the longest field goal in BYU history. That record currently belongs to Owen Pochman, who kicked a 56-yarder against New Mexico in Lavelle Edwards' final home game in 2000. Sorensen is in his first year back from his mission, but his leg has shown little rust. He attempted 67-yard field goals in camp that had the distance and concluded the final scrimmage with a 57-yard field goal. Number two, no running back will rush for 100 yards against BYU. This was the case in 2007 until the Las Vegas Bowl. This prediction will be challenged in the season opener. With a recently named starting quarterback and a huge offensive line, Ole Miss will certainly run the ball, but BYU has its deepest and most talented defensive linemen and linebackers ever. It's hard to imagine someone rushing for 100 yards with guys like Romney Fuga, Ethan Monumalayuna, Jordan Pendleton, Kyle Van Noy, Brandon Ogletree, and a slew of others standing in their way. Number one, BYU will not play in the Armed Forces Bowl. These are called bold predictions for a reason. Every time a non-automatic qualifying school has earned a BCS bowl berth, it has gone undefeated to do so. Going undefeated is hard. Saying that any team in college football will go undefeated this season is a bold prediction. I say even a one-loss BYU team will play in a BCS game. Given the increased exposure with the new agreement with ESPN, a strong schedule to start the season, and games with Oregon State, TCU, and Hawaii sprinkled throughout the rest of the season, a one-loss BYU team will have the respect to earn a BCS bowl berth. My number one bold prediction, admittedly the boldest of them all, is that BYU will not play in the Armed Forces Bowl.